In today's video, we've got two different HyperX wireless headsets we're gonna compare. We've got the Cloud Stinger Core, and we're gonna compare that to the Cloud Stinger. Both of these are advertising 17 hours battery life, 40 millimeter drivers, and they're both 2.4 gigahertz. They're both also compatible with PC, the Nintendo Switch, PS4, and PS4 Pro. So the Cloud Stinger Core is currently $79.99 on Amazon. I think I paid just a little bit more than that for the Cloud Stinger, but I'll leave a link in the description below with current pricing and more information. So first, let's go ahead and see what's in the box for the Cloud Stinger Core. So it looks like you've got contact information, warranty info, and a quick start guide. Here's your USB wireless dongle, USB-C charging cable, okay so these are definitely pretty lightweight. They've got sort of a cloth material on the ear cups. Nice and thick and definitely feel pretty soft. Pretty good padding on the headband with the same mesh material. You've got your flip to mute microphone, which actually seems really nice. You'll be able to put that in just about any position. Also on the left hand side, you've got your power button, volume wheel, and USB-C charging port. Pretty typical metal adjustable sliders. And it looks like it opens up to pretty much any one size head. Also seems pretty durable when you flex it. And you don't really hear any creaking, so that's good. And unfortunately, this one does not fold flat. Overall, a pretty nice looking headset, especially if you're looking for a white one. So now let's take a look at the HyperX Cloud Stinger and see how it compares. Looks like you're getting the same warranty information, contact info, and quick start guide. Unfortunately, this one is micro USB instead of USB-C. At first I thought this one was a little heavier, but it's not by much if it is. This definitely feels a little bit higher quality, especially the ear cups. They're super soft. It's definitely got to be a memory foam material. It just feels a little bit cheaper on the core compared to these. Plus I definitely like the leatherette material over the cloth mesh. Same thing with the headband, it feels nice and soft with the leatherette material. Even though this is the similar design as the Stinger Core, the ear cups on this one fold flat, which is always nice to have. Looks like you've got pretty much the same fold to mute microphone on this one, although for some reason it definitely flips a lot harder. There's definitely a lot more resistance on this one, I'm not sure why. And again, and again you can adjust it pretty much to any angle you want. So it also looks like you got the same metal sliders on this one. Now the controls on this one is a little bit different. You've got the volume wheel on the right hand side and then your power and charging port on the left. So overall very similar build quality as the Stinger Core. And you can see them next to each other. They're pretty much the same size. This one has pretty much the same adjustability. When it comes to how far you can spread the ear cups apart and they seem pretty durable as well. I feel like you get a little bit more high end or premium feel with the Cloud Stinger over the core. But overall I definitely like what I see in both of these. Now let's do a mic test on both of these so you can see which one sounds better. You'll definitely want to use headphones for the rest of the video after I give you my thoughts from testing both of these headsets. So let's go ahead and find out which of these is the better gaming headset. <laughs> 
This is a mic test for the HyperX Cloud Stinger Core. Let me know in the comments below which you think has the better sounding microphone. Again, you'll want to make sure that you're wearing headphones during this mic test so that you can hear the differences. One thing I forgot to mention earlier, even though both of these headsets are made for PC and PS4, they also work perfectly fine on the Nintendo Switch. I kind of wish this headset had a monitoring system because I can barely hear myself talking with these on. So it definitely blocks out a lot of surrounding sound, which is definitely a good thing when you're gaming. Just maybe not so great if you're someone who talks really loud. The Cloud Singer Core 7.1 wireless headset is supposed to be the cheaper of these two, but I've got to say, these things sound really good. Both headsets are good for hearing directions of shots or footsteps, but I feel the Stinger Core 7.1 might be slightly better than the regular Cloud Stinger at hearing details. So when it comes to which of these headsets sound better, it's really close. But surprisingly, I would have to go with the HyperX Cloud Stinger Core 7.1. They also seem to have a little bit better bass, which is great when listening to music. Maybe it's because these are the newer headset? I don't know. This is a mic test for the HyperX Cloud Stinger wireless gaming headset. When it comes to which gaming headset is more comfortable, this one is really close. Each one fits comfortably over my ears, which isn't that common for some reason, even though I have average size ears. Both have to be right up there with some of the most comfortable headsets that I've tested, and I've tested a lot of them. I always tend to lean towards the leatherette material versus cloth, but the cloth material on the Stinger Core 7.1 wireless is actually pretty nice. Definitely better than some of the others I've tested. But if I had to choose which gaming headset is the more comfortable one, I'd have to give this slight advantage to the regular Cloud Stinger wireless. This is a mic test for the HyperX Cloud Stinger Core 7.1 wireless gaming headset. So now after testing both of these for a while, I think this is probably two of the closest headsets I've compared yet. Because of that, I'd have no problem recommending both of these. But if I had to choose between these two, and I could only use just one, I'd probably have to go with the regular HyperX Cloud Stinger. But if the Cloud Stinger Core had the leatherette material on the ear cups, yeah, I'd probably go with them. Especially since they're a little bit cheaper, and it feels like you get just as much comfort and sound as the more expensive sibling. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing, and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.